guys, here we are today. We're going to be looking at a 116 scale figure from Mini Art. Kit number is 16012, and it is a 5th century BC Spartan hoplite. Sword, shield. This is uh, just a single figure in this kit. Okay, so that's the box. Nice, really nice piece of box art there okay there's a few figures in the background obviously been in battle because he's got some arrows stuck in his shield okay so let's have a look at the box first all right so on the side we've got the mini art 16014 which is a athenian spotlight um hoplite spotlight hoplite and we've got a second century ad praetorian guard from the Roman Empire, usual warnings. On the other side, we've just got some colors of this particular Spartan, more warnings, and that's basically it for the box. So let's have a look inside and see what we've got. Put that over there. First up, okay, so we have color sheet, nice color sheet, really detailed. Okay, so you've got, uh, these are your colour call-outs for Model Master, Tamiya, Hambrol, Ravel. Basic colours, you've got eight different colours, but of course you can change the colours on this to anything you want, because back in those days, anything went. So you do have some decals to go on this as well. And then you've just got your basic sprue layout. Fairly straightforward simple those are your decals not much to that's your instructions more than anything else that is your instructions doesn't tell you how to put it together you just have to put the parts okay so that's the instructions oh that's interesting okay maybe i've had a look at this one before well not one of these videos but maybe had a look in because definitely not in the bag Right, so one through, two, three, your base, and your basic decals. All right, so let's get that out of the way. We'll have a closer look. Okay, so let's have a look a bit closer. So, as I said, this is your assembly instructions, right? Each part's numbered on the sprue layout, and then it's just a matter of putting them all together as you go. If you've never done a figure before, these ones can be a bit of a challenge. They do normally need a bit of uh, fill in the joints. But they do come out looking not too bad, except, of course, if you're like me and struggle a bit with faces, yeah, that can be a challenge. But hey, that's what helmets are for, isn't it? So let's put those aside, give you another look at the basic decals. As usual, I'll give you stills on all this anyway. So these are just for your shield, your choice. Uh, yeah, base. Not bad. Add a bit of texture to this with some, oh, I don't know, a bit of putty, a bit of paint, something like that. Make it look like he's actually standing on something. All right, let's have a look. Arms. All right. Detail's pretty crisp. You can see the muscles, blood veins, etc. So the detail on this, although as you can tell, there is some flash. Okay, it's sharp enough, but um, it will need some work. It needs some work. Helmet. Not much texture, but um, yeah, should go together. Details crisp. 
not much flash at all not much flash at all in this so yeah i like that that's okay that's okay and last brew and i'll give you close-ups of these anyway all right face yep detail is crisp three-part head hair legs veins and muscles are showing quite through fairly crisp detail not bad fairly sharp on the cuirass shield is quite plain although there is detail on the back sword not too bad yeah yeah should go to girl well yeah i think that should be fine okay and that is basically it it there's not much to it in fact there's very little to it easy one to put together there's two ways to go about this spend a lot of time painting up which i've done a previous one and uh, that turned out not too bad or you could just cheat put it all together and just spray the thing up like it's a marble statue it's your choice but hey it all comes down to how you want to do it and how you want to have fun okay so that brings us to the end of this one very simple very straightforward thanks for watching hope you got something from it catch you next time